So, as the title says, um, this is a story within a story. Um, the outer story is probably easier to grasp. The outer story is that Finn Finian has this Finn Finian, who is in the Curiosity Shop stories, story number one, loves um, this serialized um, boys' adventure novel. Um, by serialized, I mean like the chapter is published. There's a chapter published monthly. Um, in this very imperialistic <laughs> British uh, boys' magazine from early 20th century. And Finn loves this story. And, <coughs> and this story is the story within the story. There's actually three layers of story. This is the story within the story. And the story within the story is the story that Finn is reading. That story is about an English schoolboy named Christopher who gets summoned by a horn, by a magical trumpet, um, to enter into um, this secret world that uh, needs to be defended. And here, yeah, Christopher actually gets summoned by the king, and he is um, tasked with essentially keeping peace in the realm and uh, protecting the crown's interests. That's alright, Christopher sees this as his duty, <laughs> of course. Um, and Finn likes that element of the story, though Finn doesn't like Christopher. Christopher is boring. It's very boring. Christopher is basically a non-entity. Um, if you'd ask Finn, though, coming out of that story, if you ever asked, if you ever asked Finn though, he would say that of course his favorite character is Christopher, Christopher is the hero. But if you were someone that Finn would actually tell the truth to, Finn would admit that Christopher is very boring and that the character that really interests him, that he really wants to know about, is Hunter. Now let's get back into Christopher's story. In Christopher's story, one of the characters he runs into, and he and his associates run into, I'm not going to say friends. Christopher would call them his friends, but they really aren't. They work for the crown, and the only reason they listen to Christopher is because the king has said that Christopher gets to be their leader. Oh, hey, look, I summoned Hunter just by talking about him. <laughs> there you are. Um, so this... I'm not going to pick you up, you still... You're not happy right now, are you? Um, now Hunter is based... To come out of both stories, Hunter is based on my boy cat. So I'm going to move them. There you go. Well, you can see his tail. There you go. Um, but anyway, back to Christopher's story. Hunter is someone that Christopher and his associates run into a lot. Because Hunter, unfortunately, works with the bad guys. The thing is, I really wish the bad guys could succeed in this story, um, and I think Finn would say the same thing if he gave an honest answer, because the bad guys actually really have a point. Um, the methods aren't the best, but um, basically the system and the story takes place, like I said, um, very imperialistic Britain, and the bad guys are really just fighting for the oppressed people to have some sort of voice and some sort of say. Um, and Hunter is only with the bad guys because they are the only ones that are taking care of his family. His family right now only consists of his younger sister, who's actually about the sister. He's only younger by a year. Uh, his younger sister, Diva who's based on my other cat. And, um, Diva is actually cursed, and she was cursed, um, after it was discovered that, um, that Hunter and her aunt, Cleo, and uncle, Sam, 
um, were not who they said they were. They were actually um, a sort of a shape-shifting cat people who have three forms. A very human form that you cannot tell at all that they are cat, cat folk. Um, kind of a half and half form where there are some cat like characteristics and then a purely cat form. But Cleo and Sam wanted to give their niece and nephew a good life, so they stayed in human form and had they were honest folk. Unfortunately, Crown found out what they were trying to do. Um, and well, we don't know what happened to Cleo and Sam, but they've both gone missing. And Hunter and Diva were left on their own, but not before Diva was cursed and is now stuck um, in that second form, the part cat, part human form, um, is also stuck um, with the mind of a kitten, um, being a young kid. So she is, she, she essentially, she's still a young kid. Um, which, as you can imagine, is really disconcerting for Hunter. But that means that when Hunter is trying to raise money, um, someone needs to be taking care of Diva. And the only people who have been willing to help are the bad guys. Now, when Christopher and his associates manage to defeat the bad guys in a great epic battle, as these novels always have, a great epic battle, there's no one to take care of Diva. And Hunter really really wants to do good. He really wishes he could help Christopher. So, he has Diva stay in her room and in and goes to Christopher in office to help them. And he is told point, point blank that they don't want his help. One, they don't want his help. Two, they don't trust him. Three, there's nothing he can do to make them trust him. And four, if they see him again, they will report him to the king, and he will be tossed in jail. Now, Hunter says, well, there's no actual charge. Um, doesn't matter, they'd make something up. And because they're the heroes, they'd be believed by the king. So, disappointed and discouraged, Hunter returns to the inn. And finds that, oh, the villains are completely gone, and Diva's let them back, and it has told them precisely what Hunter has just tried to do. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of where that story ends off. Um, the thing, this is where it gets into a third layer of story. So, it's the first layer, which is Finn is reading a story. This second layer, which is the story that Finn is reading, Christopher's story, and the third layer is this actually is happening. Because multiverse, um, there is a world where the events that that Finn is reading as a fictionalized story actually exist. The fiction that Finn is reading in himself, in fiction, does actually exist. Um, it is true in another world. And it is in this other world that we are able to find out all the struggles that Hunter is going through and that Diva is going through and the fact that actually the bad guys have a point. In Christopher's story, we do not see this. When we go one layer deeper, we can. Um, so that is the bizarre three-part story, um, or three-layer story, that um, Hunter and Diva, the characters, are from. And um, I actually, I really want to both write this and write the various layers of it. Um, and I also do want to get Hunter and Diva as characters, especially Hunter because um, he's based on my boy cat who I really, really do love. 
Yes, I do. I'm scratching his head right now. That's uh, I'm saying that. Oh, and he's so happy that I'm doing that. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's the various layers upon layers upon layers, layers um, of that story. Okay, uh, this is actually the end. For once. Bye, everyone. I'm going to stop here before I keep blathering on about things. Wait, so that's not blathering hands. This is blathering hands. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>